we're gonna talk about all the way to page 17 or from picture number one all the way to picture number two, okay? And that means that's picture number one, chapter one, and picture number two, okay? We're gonna learn a lot about this and pictures of all the switch. An amazing book by Petra, Patrica Riley Giff. Um, this one, the Newberry Honor. This is a Newberry Honor book, so that means that it's a really good book for children, one of the best books for children. And I hope that you really enjoy this. And just, yeah, I really like this book, which is why I'm doing a book club about it. And um, yeah, she's also made Lily's Crossing, a uh, Newberry Honor winning book. So she's a pretty good author. She has made lots of other books. Um, you can find all her books right here. And then you can also, but she has actually made lots of books, way more than here. But here's some that are pretty famous, at least are mentioned in the list. All the Way Home, Nori Ryan's Song, Lily's Crossing, The Gift of the P Pirate Queen, the Cassie, Tracy, and Company books. And then there's from younger readers, you know, like picture books. There's like the kids that were the Polk Street School books, the Friends of, and Amigos books, the Polka Dot Private Eye books. And I think that those are all series. So you can all check that out, the other books out. But for right now, let's go into Paul's Woods, okay? So let's dive right in to chapter one. Well, really not the chapter one, but the first picture, okay? So, um, how are we gonna do this? You know, like, some are chapters, some are pictures. How are we gonna review this? Well, just think of the pictures and the chapters, so I might just say, like, first picture, so, like, I don't know, like, maybe I'll do, like, the second picture, I don't know, but, like, maybe I'm gonna, the next time, do, like, fifth picture to chapter seven. Well, I, I don't really know, like, is the fifth chip? Yeah, well, never mind. Well, I, 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 I mean, that's not gonna happen. I'm, I, I, I have planned it differently, but still, that might happen, okay? So just think of the pictures as chapters, so they are pretty short, um, but still. And think about why the title is Pictures of Hollis Woods. And as you're reading it, it's gonna become pretty obvious why it's named that. But why do you think that the author represents these things, these memories sort of in pictures? That's one thing I really wanted you to think about, okay? As you read the whole book. So um, that's one thing that I want you to think about a lot today, okay? Just quick note. Now, so, um, so it says, um, so there was, so she, okay, um, Hollis Woods, okay, I'm just, Hollis had this, um, so she was supposed to get a picture with something that started with a W, right? And so, um, the thing is, when she got that house of, um, a mother, father, brother, and sister, um, it says this, she, um, this is a picture of a family, Hollis, a mother, a mother, M, a father. A mother, M, a father, F, a brother, B, a sister, S. They're standing in front of their house, H. I don't see one W word here. But could you think of something? Well, I thought, well, isn't that wonderful? I'm not kidding. I didn't read ahead. Now, you might be like, well, you read ahead, right? No, I am not kidding. Um, actually, um... Um, yeah, and then actually she thought wouldn't be lovely. I got, I was like, oh my God, I can see the future now. <gasps> um, yeah, it, it was just really funny. I, I just, I was like, because Pictures of Hollis was, I've read a lot of books where like, you know, there's this orphan, um, and they mostly like, the stories sort of go like this mostly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, also, if you want to read books like this, there is Wish About a Girl. She's an orphan, but... Well, she's sort of, never mind. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil that story. I have made a book club about it. Actually, that was my first book club. Well, not my first, but my, the first I actually posted on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out. It's fun. Uh, now, I was surprised when there was W, but still I could think of W words. A house and well, there's window. Like there's a window. 
like windows enough, right? And maybe one of their shirts was like, I mean, I don't know, but like maybe there was something wavy there or maybe it was windy, who knows? But it, there's windows, like I don't know any house without any window. Well, like there are, but you get the point. This does not seem like that kind of house, like from our imagination. Um, now, I have a question. You know that, so there's also this kid with the dirty nails, right? And she said, wooey, you don't know anything, Hollis Woods. And do you think that Hollis Woods, she does know something. And when, but when you, when somebody tells you this, like, what do you do? Because Hollis drew a big red X. Is that what you do? Me? I glare? I don't glare. I don't glare at the first time, but I do say stop it. Now, here is one other question. So, um, do you think that Hollis Woods, she, she was imagining her life, right? It says, I sat for a while looking at a picture of a pointy mountain. Someday I will climb a mountain like that. I'd build a little house and maybe I'd have a horse that would live right in the house with me and a, do and a dog and a cat. Now, what's your idea of like a dream house? Um, is that your idea? I'm gonna live in the mountains. I, I want. I like nature, so I'm gonna live like no. I have, I'm gonna have a vacation house in the mountains, a summer house, and then I'm just gonna have like a regular house in I don't know near the beach. And like, if I actually strike it rich, maybe in Kauai. You know, in Hawaii, Kauai, Hawaii. I like the name Kauai Hawaii. They rhyme. Now, um, there's this other, um, and then there's this other thing I thought was really unfair. So it says, when I think of my W picture deep inside my backpack under all of the other pictures I've drawn, I think of the poor washing machine kid who cried over a ruined picture and the frowning Mrs. Evans who told me to sit in the hall with a timeout tea letter for the rest of the long afternoon. You don't deserve to be with the rest of us today, she said. I mean, does Hollis was deserve to be with the rest of us? Like, with the rest of them? Like, if somebody said, you don't deserve that, how would you have reacted? Um, now, so, but then we also begin to meet somebody. Um, we, I mean, not meet, but really... But I thought that this was important. It says, but when I think of my W picture, mostly I think of the Regan's house and branches. I think of the old man and Izzy and their son, Stephen. All they need to match my picture was a girl, G. And that's what I thought the morning I ran away from them, touching the great holly bushes, feeling their sharpness and the sticky evergreen branches that hung over the dirt road leading to the town. I stopped to look up at the mountain and then at the house half hidden in the trees, the gray porch tacked on the front, screams bellying out, the chimney leaning, the two ha windows upstairs that have been my, in my bedroom, and the river in front, my river, the Delaware. The day, that day, I thought I'd never see any of it again. And never, and in my mouth, and in my mind, I drew an X over all of them, and over me too. Now, what does this mean? Who do you think that Izzy and the old man and Stephen is? Who do you think that is? Try to predict already. Predicting is fun. And do you think that they were important to Hollis's life? Because they even she even added that. Like, so do you think that they were important? And so, how do you think that they were important? Now we have gone through the first picture and think about why they started with this first picture. Um, and also, if you have been Holly, how would you have felt about the whole thing? Um, uh, about the whole, you know, picturing incident. How would you have felt? Okay. Chapter one. Okay, so now we're going to start with chapter one. So I think that is actually going to be really fun because chapter one, well, I really liked chapter one. It's a good introduction. Um, so let's, yeah, let's start. Chapter one. Uh, let me actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to read uh, the whole thing. 
but I still want it to read the um, the first chapter, okay? Well, not the first chapter, like not the whole chapter. I just mean like a little, uh, uh, some of the parts. Um, yeah, let me read just a little and then I'm gonna ask questions, okay? The house was falling apart. I could see that from the car window, but it didn't bother me. After a while, the houses ran together. Four now, no five. So that means that um, she's been to like, you know, like, not four now and five, like, if they had been going on in a car, they would have seen more. What do you think that she means? I think that she means that, um, I think that she means she's went to four foster houses. And if you keep on reading, you're going to know what I mean, but yeah. Uh, now, so... There was like, a, so she actually mentions one of the houses. It says, there was a greenhouse where the door didn't quite close. The wind blew in and up the stairs, rattling the window panes. The white house, crumbs on the table, kids fighting over a bag of Wonder Bread. The yellow house, Sudi, a long-haired woman with raised no rugs on the stairs. The, sat, the loud sound of her feet going up and down. Ah, and the house and branches, Stephen's house. But that house was different. I never forget that one. So, there's all these houses, right? These sort of mixed together, all these, all her foster houses. And why do you think that she's thinking of so many? Why? Like, why has she so many houses? Like, one, one after another? What's your guess? Probably because she isn't, like, obeying, right? She's sort of, like, an independent bull. And she doesn't want to fall into the rule. And she's, like, wanting independence. So, I don't think that she's right now. Like just going in calmly, she she and she always is kicked out. And then there's also this house and branches again, Stephen. So Stephen is thinking, right? And then also there's also the, the, Stephen also talks in our head at times. So now we can learn that Stephen's house is really, really, really important. And also that that house was different from the others, and the others seem pretty miserable. So do you think that means that Stephen's house was good? What do you think? But then, if that's it, then why do you think that she's not in Steven's house anymore? What do you think there? And so she mentions it in the first picture. She's mentioning it in chapter one. And now this isn't a spoiler, people. This isn't a spoiler, but look. The second picture, look what it says. The name is Steven. That's the title of the second picture. So we can get the point that there is Stephen, a lot of Stephen in this book. So why do you think that Stephen was so important? And really, yeah, why do you think that she isn't in Stephen's house if that was really important? That even if Stephen was so important to her, what do you think? Um. So, um, next question is. If you had been Hollis, do you think that you would have wanted to meet whoever you were meeting? Or do you think that you would just be like, uh-uh, I'm not going. And um, actually, she has run away. And do you think that um, this time is going to be different? Or do you think that she's going to run away again? I don't know. Maybe she's going to run away. I have no idea. But I, I have a feeling that maybe this time is going to be different for Hollis. Maybe she's going to actually find somebody good. Then again, who knows? You can never estimate, like, never, like, get every detail correct in a book. What do you think about the mustard woman, anyway? Or just a mustard? Um, she has a mustard um, uh, stain, but actually, she begins to, the, she begins to, um, to be called the mustard woman, um, actually on the Third, the next page here, the third page of chapter three, actually. So, and that name actually sticks all the way up to the end of the book. Let me tell you that. Um, now, um, do you think that um, really Hollis is going to behave here? And why, why do you think that um, Hollis was humming, the worm crawls in, the, word craw the worm crawls out? Because you know how like Hollis is probably going to go in, soon she's going to get out. <laughs> Either by running away or, the, or like the foster woman or man is like, We can't take her anymore. She's driving me bonkers. She's going to make me go nuts. And after that, I'm going to have to sue.
yeah. I don't know like what voice I was imitating a woman. I, I yeah, well, it was a woman's, but um, that <laughs> so like you know like the worm crawls in, Hollis goes in. Five seconds later, the worm crawls up, Hollis goes out. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Now we actually see the ret the retired out teacher, uh, our teacher, named. Josie, okay, but before that, um, also Mr. Regan's name is the old man. That's actually like a nickname, I think so. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. So, um, yeah, so I have to say, this is another thing that you have to look to uh, examine all these clues and see if you can put them together. And also, really, the second picture is going to actually just tell you everything that you need to know. Well, not everything, but still a lot enough. Uh, enough. And then from here, from like the, before the first, you know, from the first picture and this, you can also learn a lot too. And um, so now we see Josie Cahill, okay? And I I was really surprised when I saw her. I was like, oh my God. And if you, and yeah, she is surprising, right? Now, do you, so here's what it says. I did blink then, of course I did. Every Anyone getting a first look at Josie Cahill would do the same. It wasn't just that she was a movie star beautiful or that she was wearing a blue dress made of filmy stuff that floated around her and it rings on eight of her fingers. It was this, she had a knife in one hand. She held it in front of her so it caught the glint of, the, of late afternoon sunshine and became a silvery light itself. Lordy, the mustard woman breathed. We can already see the mustard woman's name going to use right there. And also the last page also. You can you can see that mention of the mustard woman. For some reason that just strikes me so funny. The mustard woman. Now, if you are seeing Josie Cahill, what would, what would be your immediate thought? Me? Well, yeah, she looks pretty cool. But that knife? Look, I know I have seen Star Wars movies. But in real life, and even though like when there's a Star Wars battle, I'm like, woohoo, woo, crush them Jedi, crush the dark side. If I was, but here's a, in reality, and I'm like cheering and I'm like, okay, if I had been a Jedi, I would have, you know, and thought this and that. But here's the thing, in real life, I'm terrified of these things. Like, um, like, yeah, it's just terrifying. I even flinch when a ball comes toward me. I mean, how, how how am I going to face battle droids when I flinch when a ball comes to me? How am I going to face another um, dark, dark, dark lord when I can't even, I, I can barely like handle and um, you know, like I, when I'm flinching at a ball, how am I going to like survive? Um, so yeah, and I'm a big coward at those kinds of things. I'm a real scaredy cat, so I couldn't do that. No. So, and it's sort of like this. So in real life, me, I would be like, uh-oh. Now, I mean, my first thought, I'm like, uh-oh. Maybe we should get away from here? Sort of like that. Now, what would be your react? What did you think that Hollis's reaction would be? In? And why do you think that Hollis found um, Josie so intriguing? Why do you think that she didn't was like, uh, uh, I'm not going there. Like, um, why do you think that she was um, like, wow? And she just sort of went towards this woman, woman, Josie. Probably because she looked so amazing, right? And beautiful and she had all this, and she looked cool and that knife probably intrigues anybody even if, you know, like I would have been a little scared. Um, still, I think that it would have intrigued me too. And I think maybe that's why, right? Because besides, she couldn't like kill me because there was another, an adult with me. So she couldn't kill me anyway. And, but then again, she would kill me as immediately at night or do something to me. But why in the world would she kill me? Maybe she was like a secret arch nemesis. Never mind. I'm, I've watched too many Star Wars movies. And I now think 
like the Jedi, arch nemesises and stuff like that. Even though I don't even have an arch and nemesis anyway. But still, let's not talk about that. Uh, okay. Do you think that Hollis is going to go well with this woman? And um, also, do you think that the um, do you think that um, Josie what she's doing is really cool about the like the wooden things, um, the wooden people? What do you think? And do you think that you would like to do those kinds of things? Like, what's your hobby? And is it an art? Like, what do you like art? And you know, it could be like paintings. Like, you, do you like to do art, or do you like to observe art? And this art is also in music and in literature. That's all art, sculpture, and um, even painting walls. That's art. So, what do you think? What's your art? So, how do you think that, again, how do you think that Hollis is going to take this and what do you think is going to happen? Dun, dun, dun. And, and do you think that Hollis' wooden figure is going to come out good? How do you think that it's going to look? And why isn't it she, that Josie's going to finish it? Probably in the end. That's probably how it's going to end or somehow, but it probably around the end it's going to end. The, yeah, I know. The sculpture is going to end. And also, I think that Hollis is gonna have a good time here for once, right? Um, so we're gonna have to see about that. Hollis is intrigued and maybe she's she's gonna like Josie as much as she liked this mysterious old man, Stephen and Izzy. Actually, here's the thing, it's not gonna be mysterious anymore. We're gonna go on to the second picture, which is actually Stephen and it really explains Stephen's um, you know, have Steven, old man, and this person named Izzy. Let's start. Um, now, so it says, this wasn't one picture. It was six, eight, ten. I never could get Steven right. I could see him in my eye, head though, close my eyes, and there he was. So, can you, like, express something? Like, not with one word, but, like, can you express something like fully or is it just impossible to just express something? What do you think? Yeah, like on the top of a Ferris wheel, you just can't express it. You just, you just, just can't. You just never can. You need to actually be there. You have to feel that exhilarating feel and then you're actually gonna like, ah, that is what they're talking about or else you're never gonna know. Um, now, so do you think that Hollis was like up to Steven's house was pretty good? Like, read it. The first day I was sick to my stomach, smell of the bus, Disney Mountain. I'm just reading some of it. Um, you know, bus for hours, tag printed my shirt, rubbed the raw patch, thirsty. I mean, that does not sound good, right? And also, um, um, also, she was talking about, there was also this stucco woman, right? Stucco woman. Um, stuck, it was like the stucco house. She lived in a stucco house. But anyway, they soon call her the stucco woman. Um, and she, and like, look, we're, we're going to sort of get a hint of our life. We already got a hint of our life in chapter one. But here's more. Look at this. Um, Fair play, fit, fresh air, a place in the country, the stucco woman said, see? Um, that's what you need. She didn't mean it though, I heard her on the phone. Two months, she said, two months to, to do what I please and not have to worry about that kid getting into every, everything. She says everything, not everything. Uh, so see, it does not seem like Hollis has a good life. Um, and do, do you actually feel sorry for Hollis? But do you think that the stucco woman actually feels sorry? Do you think that she should? And do you think that she's really fulfilling the duties that uh, stuck that somebody a foster care should should? I don't think so. Um, and has you has anybody called you trouble or like a mountain of trouble or something? Um, like you know, like not good. Has anybody called you that? Oh, some people. 
have called me that plenty of times. Just live a life and you're gonna hear that. It's just regular in a way. Now, um, finally, I wanted to talk about Stephen. Stephen Regan and his father, the old man. I love Stephen and the old man. I just love them. They're awesome. Um, now, really, it really does not seem good. And how did you think that um, Hollis felt as she was going, exiting the bus? And what do you think that she was thinking? I think that she was thinking, well, I'm probably going to be out of here soon. But so, yeah, let's make the best of it. You know, she she just maybe sing gas casually and be like, oh man, I'm dying of thirst, but not really thinking about the foster. Maybe she was, maybe she was like, uh oh. But really, she wasn't really thinking that hard about it. And um, so I think that uh, in the end, um, she was just thinking casually. She wasn't really thinking that hard about anything. Now, what did you think about Steven when you first met him? Did you like, did, when you predicted Steven, did you predict him like this? Not really, I thought that, but I still thought that Steven was a really interesting, awesome, amazing character, and I liked him. And Steven and um, the old man, he, I really liked both of them a lot. And what do you think made, what about them do you think made Hollis feel like them so much? And um, also, what do you think, like, what do you think is so good? What's a few character traits, good character traits that Steven has? Steven, she, he's friendly, he's, he talks well, and he just is a good person. And I think that I'm gonna like, like anybody would really like him as a friend. And also like, in all, they're really nice and they're not like the other people who, you know, like they don't, they welcome, Hollis. Some other people didn't really like welcome that Hollis as much as this, right? And do you think that Steven is going to be the closest that Hollis ever has it going to be a brother? Has to be like a brother? And finally, in the end, do you think that this was going to be Hollis's last stop or not? Well, we already know, but still, if you have been there, do you, and to Hollis, oh, did you think that this was gonna be um, Hollis's last stop? If you had not really read the whole um, book, do you think that you would have thought that? What do you think? And actually, that's where we're gonna leave off for today. We have read, okay, all the way from the first picture, and then we've also read for chapter one, all the way to the second picture. So we have read a lot, and we've talked about a lot, and here's the thing. Next time, we're actually just going to talk about chapter two, so we're gonna talk about chapter two, the third picture, and then chapter three. Maybe all the way to the fourth picture, but we're gonna have to see about the time there. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's session with the pictures of Alice Woods by Patrica Riley Giff. Um, she has also made Lily's Crossing, but of course I'm gonna, um, yeah, so that's an uh, amazing book, and I am going to make, I'm going to actually um, make a book club of it, about it as soon as possible. But for right now, we're talking about Hollis Woods, um, pictures of Hollis Woods. And after this, I may actually make um, another book club. Um, but for right now, just enjoy the ones on my channel and wait for new ones to come out. Now, that's not what we're talking about. Instead, we're gonna just, I'm gonna just ask you a few last questions. What was your favorite part in the, in the book so far? We have read all the way to page, let's see. We read all the way to page 17, so we should have some things. Up to page 17, what was your favorite part? I really liked the, disc I really liked when they met um, Josie it was just really amazing and I really thought that she was cool so I, and I was excited so that was my favorite part but I also like when Hollis met um, Steve and I also thought that was a good part um and then also what was your favorite character and your least favorite character because we have met some characters we've met Hollis Woods we have met that dirty 
the kid with the dirty nails, she doesn't play a big part, but still. There's Mrs. Evans. There is Old Man. Um, there's Steven. There's Josie. There's the Mustard Woman. And there's also somebody named Izzy, but we're going to meet her soon. We haven't met her yet, but we are going to meet her. And also, actually, Steven did mention her. It said that Izzy was going to make carrot cake, so um, that's one thing I wanted to point out. So we're going to learn about Izzy next time, actually. Yeah, because in chap yeah, after the second picture, there's chapter two. And after chapter two, there's actually a third picture. And in the third picture, you're going to learn a lot about Izzy. So, okay, you can look forward to that next time. Uh, so yeah, what, what was your favorite character and least favorite character? My favorite character was Steven. Number two will be Hollis. Um, and oh, actually it will be Josie. Okay, now you might have uh, several favorite characters and that's all right with me. Um, my least favorite character, well, Josie was awesome. Hollis is nice and also awesome. I like the old man, Izzy. She, we're gonna learn more about her, like I said. Um, there's Steven, I like all of them. The Mustard Woman and Joe's, yeah, 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 good. Um, the Mustard Woman, she doesn't mean any harm. So I like her enough. The kid with the dirty nails. But really, I think that Mrs. Evans, like, really takes me off. I'll choose Mrs. Evans for this time. Though she doesn't really come in the book anymore. This is the only time. But still, she can count as a character. Okay. Now, my favorite question. How did you like the book so far? You know that's my favorite question because then you can review, you can think, and then you can answer, and hopefully you then say yes and you like the book so far. Um, of course, why do you think I chose it? I like it. That's why it won the not only because it won the Newberry Honor, but because it's just such a great book and I really like it. I hope that you also liked it. Now for predictions. Um, I want you to make your own predictions, but still, um, I'm going to ask you just the regular amount of predictions, questions that I normally ask. So, um, what was your favorite, no, no, not, not, sorry, sorry, um, I meant, um, do you think that Hollis is going to really settle in with Josie? Why do you think that Hollis left Steven? Um, and her, his family. Do you think that Hollis is going to stay there for the rest of her life uh, with Josie for the rest of her life, or do you think that she's gonna? What do you think? Do you think that she's gonna settle in with Josie, or do you think that she's gonna go back to Stephen? Why do you think? Do you think that? Why do you think that Hollis got her name, Hollis Woods? Anyway, sort of like a strange name. What do you think? Why do you think that she was in foster care? Some of these questions we have just don't have the answers to, right? Um, it's just confusing. Um, and we just, these might not be predictions, but guesses. Well, they are guesses, but they are predictions. So yeah, because they do come later in the book, which is a prediction. Um, do you think that, why Why do you think the hospital hasn't been really cooperating with anybody? Well, that's, we can sort of figure it out maybe. Um, but we're going to have to read the book still to figure out more about that. And finally, do you think that Hollis Woods in, the, in heart is a good person? Or do you think that she's just a rude, not good kid? What do you think? And that's where we're going to leave off for today. I hope that you really enjoyed doing all the way to page 17 or, you know, um, uh, there is, um, of course, picture number one, chapter one, and picture number two. So I hope that you enjoyed those three too many chapters in one chapter. Um, and we can meet each other next time. Have a great rest of your day or night um, because I always want to be fair tonight. Um, keep on reading. Make a difference in the world, however small it is, I do not care. And meet you guys all next time, okay? The next portion of Pictures of